Good morning, GeoGebra fans. We will set up a really cool script that my main man, Keishiro Ueki, showed me how to do. So check out his page. Uh, we begin with dropping down a slider for the radius. Doesn't matter how big you make the radius. And then another slider for the angle, alpha. That must be an angle. Don't forget to hit angle here. Uh, and we will animate that angle. This will be the one that will be animated. I'll put this in animate me. Animate me. Okay. So. Uh, I like to start up uh, at a vertical point here, so I will I'll call that my crank point is rad1 times sine of alpha. That's the x coordinate, and then uh, rad1 times cos of alpha will be the y coordinate. Okay, so now as alpha changes, the point moves. Beautiful. Let's put a point at the origin. Zero, zero. And now one more point somewhere here, and I will call this width of the kite. And you'll see why I'm going to call that width of the kite. I'm going to put a slider in. Uh, width of the kite, width of the kite, one to maybe 10. Okay. And now uh, the end of the kite will be origin plus width kite comma zero. And now you'll see why um, my main man Keishiro calls it a kite. I would not have thought of this by the way. I spent like two hours trying to figure this out yesterday. We will put this over here. Okay. We're almost done. Okay. Put some segments here. That was Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, shush. Ah, Frank Sinatra. Sorry. And here is that um, linkage, which I had a hard time seeing how to program that, but it's super easy, right? It's really beautiful. And of course, it uh, doesn't matter how we change this. Really fun. Okay, so then, um, Hiro, uh, Okay, Keishiro did one more trick, which I really like. Hey, stop it! Ugh. Through here, and then let's add a, one more slider for the width of the brush. Width of the brush. Oops, it doesn't matter how big we make it. And then let's put a circle here through the width of the brush. Get the intersect. Hide this one. Hide that one. Hide this. Let's make all the segments a little bigger here. Nice. 
and then uh, maybe a midpoint, it doesn't matter. And maybe one more midpoint. Now we could make this one yellow because the Lithuanian flag is yellow. And this one, oops, green. And this one, oh, it's right here, sorry. And then we could turn on the trace. This, 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 and we could see the Lithuanian flag developing. Trace on, trace on. Here we go. Ready? Geltona žalia ir raudona, tai mūsris palvė Lietuvą. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I could not restrain myself here. Uh, and then, obviously we could change the radii live and the width of the kite. Kind of explore how that feels. The width of the brush. That's so nice. His looks a little better than mine, but you get the point. So beautiful. Now we should do Lithuanian Easter eggs, and I'll see you in a week or so. Bye-bye.